One more time, beer for breakfast at the 2015 Winnipeg Folk Festival. What a weekend. It's hot and the music is even hotter. We just came from an amazing workshop. Who is ho which was hosted by the one and only Mr. Steve Poltz, which you have here. Hey, how was it? How'd you like uh, the folks you were with? They were great, man. Jessica could sing so pretty, and the guy from Dawes was great. He has good songs, and then Dust Bowl Revival brought it. And of course, really nobody glad. was expecting them because. Uh, yeah. I was glad I got to follow them because they're like eight people in a band, and I like following big bands. Why? Is it me get. I don't know. More of a like challenge, or <laughs> I just like it. It gets the crowd going. It's just fun. And your stories get them going too. Good, good, good. You could just rattle off a story, which was just as good as the song, which was. I awesome. always like stories, you know. Stories are what everything's based on. So. Are all your songs? They all have a story behind them. Most. Well, there's a story about everything. And a lot of my stories are just lies. I just make them up if I don't have a story. Well, give us a good one. I just invent one, you give know what a, I mean? Give us a story, Steve. Well, make one up right on the spur of the moment. This Can is my first it? time at Winnipeg Folk Fest. And when you check into Winnipeg Folk Fest, they give all the artists $10,000 bonuses in cash, Canadian dollars. So you see artists walking around just like dropping you know, loonies, toonies, tenors, $20 bills, and some people are even dropping out hundreds, so it's kind of a thing where you're giving that money to give away to other people, so everybody leaves the festival richer. <laughs> Not just richer from the experience, but actually richer. So that's cool. So that's, that's something that's like a little known fact a lot of people don't know about Winnipeg Folk Festival. And I think that they're doing a good job with it because everybody gets the same amount. So it's sort of, it's really, you know, socialistic in the way that they do it. It doesn't matter whether you're Wilco. Each guy in Wilco gets $10,000. If you're Steve Pulch, you get $10,000. Not, I mean, they get paid differently, but everybody gets a $10,000, what's called a signing bonus. Sadie's, each guy in the Sadie's gets 10000 bucks. That guy there, he gave away all his money. <laughs> he has nothing he left. Did. He's just got heart. That's all he's got. He's got a lot of heart. When you're the world's greatest backing band, yeah, you do things like that. Yeah. So, what what's been uh, your highlight so far? I mean, there's been many, but what, what, what's a standout? Well, I would have to say seeing Arlo Guthrie sing Alice's Restaurant after not doing it for so long, and it was the 50 year anniversary. I I got goosebumps. That set got me. Yeah, he's a legend. A living legend, if you will. Mm -hmm. And give us a big shameless plug for Steve Foltz, because you're coming back to Winnipeg November 7th. Yeah, I'm going to play in the, the winter. Theater. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm not scared of the winter. But you were, you, uh, were originally from Hall Halifax. Yeah, we left when I was just a little kid, so I don't remember a lot of it, but I'm not afraid of the winter. I tour year-round. And that's tough, because he's in San Diego, and it doesn't get any nicer anywhere in North America. It's like this and every day. <laughs> Except and, a little bit cooler. And everybody has $10,000 falling out of their pocket there. In San Diego, so, isn't that you're the, the given, land of the rich? Actually, in San Diego, you're given $10,000 a day just for living there. So all you have to do is basically, it's a secret that a lot of people don't know about. If you get your driver's license at the DMV, you get a $10,000 signing bonus for driving on the freeways because they want more people driving on the freeways. It's kind of what they're into because it sells more gasoline. And so if you move to California, you're given $10,000 every month for living there. It's kind of a monthly stipend because the state is so rich with tourism. They just need some water. Yeah, but we can buy water. We're buying it. We're so rich, we buy everybody else's water. And then you know what we do? We water our lawns. We don't even respect it. Why should we? We have more money than everyone. <laughs> Steve Foltz, thank this you ever so much. This is the greatest interview I've ever done. <laughs> just, I like just, just wait till November, we'll do it with beer. Laughing. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. God bless you. Beer for breakfast at the Winnipeg Fox. Beer for breakfast Fox. is probably the greatest show in existence. I would like to say, this is Steve Pultz testifying about beer for breakfast. If I could only listen to beer for breakfast, which I believe I can via your podcast online, right? Mm -hmm. Then that's all I'd really want to listen to. Beer for breakfast. Beer for breakfast. Beer for breakfast. If you say it three times in a row and tap your heels, a stranger will give you ten thousand dollars. And somebody you just met will give you a sticker. Dude, that's <laughs> going on my case right now. Awesome. See my case right there? 
Let Mars. me get it. Don't you don't shut me off. <laughs> Beer for breakfast. <laughs> Beer for breakfast is going Steve Poltz's guitar case. Rock on. This is getting prime real estate. You're gonna be next to shit just got real and don't mess your pants in Texas. <laughs> Here for breakfast. You will now see this if you follow me online. Right beside the monkey playing center. And this one, which is Bob Schneider's. Well, Look at that. Thank you so much, Steve. Cheers. Have a good one. We'll see you tonight on main stage.